All right, folks. Now it's time for me to finish the Traja campaign. The fifth scenario, Blood in the Water. Now, let's get this done. The pages of history are littered with brilliant victors and foolish losers. But foolish victors and brilliant losers are in much more exclusive company. I am not so arrogant as to call myself brilliant. Others can do that for me, if they deem it just. But I am no fool, and my instincts have been sharpened by decades of fighting. When a shark smells blood in the water, it attacks mercilessly. When news reached me of the civil war in Parthia, I resolved to do the same. A pang of pity for Osro struck me as I recalled the strife of my youth. But now that fortune has given me a chance to put a decisive end to an age-old rivalry, I cannot hesitate. Rome knows two great seas today, but tomorrow it will know a third. We will seize Tessiphon, the jewel of Parthia, and stride onwards in the footsteps of Alexander until my legions glimpse the ocean. If I succeed, I hope that history will remember Osros as a brilliant loser. But how will I be remembered? How will Hadrian? How will Rome? Well, very good. So, we will face more Persians. Defeat Cetesiphon. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. Trajan begins the Iron Age and can support a population limit of 100. Some buildings are initially unavailable to you. You can enable them by capturing Mesopotamian enclaves. enclaves. Roman buildings are cheap. Once you unlock more military buildings, do not be shy about constructing forward bases. Build ships on the Tigris and Euphrates rivers to help your armies reach and attack Cetesiphon. Nomadic bands scattering around the map will join your forces if you can locate them. Your scouts report, Trajo, one red, leads an army along the Euphrates River towards Cetesiphon from the west, Adrian, two purple, attacks from the north. His infantry, mounted units, and siege engines will navigate along the Tigris River. Several Mesopotamian enclaves, three gray, lie along the Euphrates and Tigris, and could serve as available launching pads for further attacks. They are guarded by a variety of Persian troops for Sion. The Persian capital of Cetesiphon 5 Blue dominates the southeast of the map. Its mountain units and elephants are the best that Persia has to offer. The lower the port of Sharax, 6 yellow lies to the southeast on the shores of the Persian Gulf. Hmm. So maybe it can trade with them? Who knows? I will lead my forces down the Tigris, Emperor. We shall meet by the sea. Oh, we are deep in enemy territory. We must seize a forward base from the Parthians. All right, so now we get them. Maybe I can explore a little bit. town is ours. We can set up camp here, but we will have to seize more towns to access more types of weaponry. Yeah, we're gonna need a power EP if we wanna survive. Ooh! <laughs> as fine a foothold as any. Oh, 
Yuri, Umbus, Yuri, Umbus. Hilara, Umbus. Hilara, Umbus. So if it's a straight deck, I get resources, I get uh I will now add cavalry to my army. Alright, if I could lure them over there. Oh, it added to him. Interesting. These crocodiles are a menace for me. I don't want to get a powerful foodie this place here uh, Tetanum Lock Archers probably this will give me some cavalry just as it has given to him cavalry Yeah. Okay. 
Bombe. Bombe. Last time you faced Arrow for the Romans, now the full might of Parthia descends upon you. Our newest acquisition specializes in cavalry. Let us feed our enemies their own medicine. Against my new auxiliary bowmen. How do surfers see this the east, while Romans flood in from the west? Is fate testing or dooming me? For a victory! Abadan, 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 Abadan,
very good. The Blingers will be also a big answer against this pesky Horse Archers. Very good. If they attack here, that would be great. That would be really great. Rogan, thou win. What a joke. Abadan, Tom, Abadan, Rush, Feel the power of the party and stop. against the portion shot and now I must do me here but archer range is pretty useless for me so I'm not really sure if I want it oh I think I'll just try First the market, first the market. I shall show you barbarians of the West what magnificent culture truly is. Oh gosh.
are no match for my heavy cavalry. Oh, my God. 
Oh, crap. <laughs> no ally. If I win this, that would be epic. I mean, he wasn't really doing a lie, so it's good. Oh, 
still got a chance. Oh, crap. I was really this close of losing. Where did these guys appear from? Were they spawned? Gosh. X-Men and his lingers to fill the ranks uh, of the legions that were lost. Poor ally. Oh, there's just some gold reserves um, here.
think GG. Probably after destroying the government center, you lose. I stand awed in the presence of the second Alexander. Ooh, Optimus Principis. Someday, parents will tell children of the age of Trajan, the emperor who found Rome a city of marble and left it one of Gold. Ironic, then, that I have no children of my own to tell this tale. I have a loving wife, but in truth, Rome herself has always been the love of my life. Perhaps the gods, in their infinite wisdom, deemed the care of children too much for a man who chose an entire empire as his family. Perhaps, as I lie on my deathbed, they are indirectly showing me the way. For years, Rome suffered under the yoke of cruel emperors with no merit other than their bloodline. Like Nerva, I will now choose my successor by merit. And what better choice than Hadrian? The loyal man who walked in my footsteps, learned from my example, and did it all without a single treacherous thought. The afterlife is timeless, immaterial, and boundless. I gaze towards the men tending my funeral pyre and hear them now call me a god. I look out over the forum that I built, the carved column that tells my story, and the city that is an empire's beating heart. I smile, knowing that I have left these people a better Rome than the one that I found. Yet, at the same time, doubt and dread gnaw at me. Now that I have raised the bar, others will try and match it and their vain ambition, conceit, and impossible expectations could drag Rome towards the same familiar decline from which I rescued it. Was I Rome's savior? Or its doom? That was pretty cool. Ooh, amazing map. Very difficult thing. They killed the double of units that I killed. Even though I win, they had a, a much, much, much better kill death ratio. They also destroy a lot of buildings. Somehow I get more. Of course, since I got the upper hand, that they had so much stuff built. Food, wood, stone, and gold. Yeah, I got much less gold, but apparently they spent all of the gold that they had. Wow. Well, that's amazing. And without profit. So yeah, I, I, at some point they were depleted of gold. And I believe that's that that was when I, I had the chance to actually strike back at them. Yeah, there is a bunch of at least these Yeah, there's these units that I saw order. Couldn't reach them anyway. Could have used them to raid here. That would be good. Uh, the gold reserves. Maybe they had here. I probably need to restart and check. Ooh. Yeah, that was. That's very sad. Yeah, having this heavy horse. Heavy horse archer would be very beneficial. And there is this place if I came here. Uh, I would get some bonus. I can play this again and maybe show you guys. But anyway, getting it that was even harder without it. That was a direct strike. 
And after that, I start to get so much stronger that I had enough forces to force my way here to get rid of them. They were probably using market at some point. So, yeah, they had some fish. Yeah, some fishing. And they had gold somewhere. Maybe here, I don't know. Let me check again real quickly. But they were depleted, and then I had the chance to strike back. They did not collect here. That would give me a lot of trouble. But yeah, GG, folks. That was amazing. That was a great way of ending the campaign. And without Hadrian. Poor Hadrian couldn't survive. He was alive because he would beat the next em Emperor. But at the same time, he wasn't able to keep with me. Which is very sad. Uh, I'm gonna watch one thing real quickly. Okay. I will lead my forces down the Tigris, Emperor. Ooh. We shall meet by the sea. There is gold here. You probably have a bunch of gold. We are deep in enemy territory. And must seize a forward base from the Parthians. Yeah, I got this gold. I got this gold. This one they did not touch. This one as well. Probably had a huge stockpile with them. There is some stone here. I don't remember. Maybe they collected. Or got some crazy amount of gold with them. That's the explanation that I believe. Oh. So it's science that builds, but then it is blue that gets the the monument. That was a nice touch, by the way. Nice what they uh, can accomplish with the with the triggers. And here are some fishing economy. Thought there would be sea battles, but no. But still that was very good. Maybe if I had some catapults. Oh uh, let me check real quickly. Yeah, I could have used some docks here. And maybe some catapults. And try ring. Oh, uh, the yogurt now. That would be a decent way of maybe getting rid of these monuments. Mm. That's a nice effect. Yeah, I believe that there is a counter here. That's some very nice trigger. At some point, these birds will cease to fly here and then we start the monument. I'm still very, I'm very impressed. They collect a lot of gold. Or gold, I mean, much more gold. Yeah, they cannot see. Interesting. So, yeah. GG. Uh, you can get this and this. But yeah, I got some guard for mode. That was, there were some active moments. GG, folks. Thanks for watching, and I see you next time.